My name is Gabrielle Pinky. I'm a freshman and I am a vocal performance major and my concentration is classical music. I started singing out in the church when I was six and a friend of mine in the church pointed out the fact that I should take vocal lessons because she heard the potential to sing classical. And my voice teacher, she started training me in like classical repertoire and I just like started to blossom and enjoy the way it felt in my voice. When you go to see an opera, there's such a dramatic sense, like you're literally on the edge of your seat when you go to an opera. It's so entertaining to watch and you're just mesmerized by the way people's voices can just ping all the way to the back of the audience. It's like an amazing thing to watch. <laughs> So you have Italian opera, you have German opera, you have French opera, you have American opera, um, and other languages as well, but th those are the main ones. So a student of opera has to be, be skilled in all those areas. Um, I don't think there are any opera singers who say, I just sing French opera. You have to be, be prepared to, to go into those roles um, and understand not only the language, but the style of the period, because different, different types of music have different, different musical styles. And certainly people become an expert in, in certain styles and would be known for singing uh, Verdi, which was from the Romantic period or different voice types. But um, yeah, you have, to be, you have to be pretty skilled in the, the vocal realm and then also um, you know, you have to know how to act as well on top of that to be a, a credible performer today in opera. Like opera singing is definitely my passion. It's like everything to me, but I also feel like I have so much that I contribute, can contribute to like change the way the culture of opera is and how it's reflected in society. So for instance, as an arts manager, I really want to create a performing arts program for young African-American girls so they can learn more about the art form and what we do. And also as an entertainment lawyer, hopefully I can help African-American opera singers deal with the disparities that we face in the industry. Historically has been dominated by white European males. That's, that's where it started with the composers, the countries, the composers, and you know, unfortunately that's, that's persevered for an awfully long time. Things are getting better for, for musicians of color and for women as well. I'm the only African-American female in my class. And I hope that as we go, cause Dr. Laufar is like the diversity director for music and he's really trying to change that with my height and my color. They want me to be basically the cute little opera singer that sings her one little piece and then goes away. Especially in the African American community, there's like this stigmatized idea of what opera is. And for me, I was able to understand and learn about opera, so I was able to approach it better. So I think that I want to leave a mark where it's easily accessible for the African American community to learn more about opera and what we actually do. So there can be a more diverse audience that comes to the opera houses and like supports people like me that are actually in the operas. You know, another part of being successful is you have to be a good musician and you have to work hard. And she has all she has all those skills. I mean, she's she's a super hard worker and she's really musical and She's open to suggestions and she's just, she's just a real joy to work with. And uh, I think she has a great future ahead of her. Mm -hmm.